Fuck. It's a lot of fucking mail, guys. I haven't even got to the fun part yet. So, now to do fun shit. Fuck! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. Oh shit. Oh. 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 So let's draw some pictures. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Let's get freaky. this. Where's my tape? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so there's one. What's this one doing? Boom. That one looks cool. I like that. For those of you who don't know, like you're like, oh dude, you're talking about a paper shortage, but all you do is you rip stuff up and tape it on packages. It's because I have a lot of fuck ups when I'm printing. So for every, I would say for every 10, eight to ten chapbooks I make, one of them is completely fucked. And so I just um, didn't know what to do with this stuff for the longest time, and I had this pile growing of um, paper that was all shit. So I thought I would just have fun and make the packages into something worth looking at, you know, just a little bit of fun, you know, nothing crazy, just a little extra, put a fucking fork in me, we're going to the post office, I'm feeling really bad, um, about that video I did, about um, lonely writers. I'm not bad, like, I, I don't feel bad about really anything I said other than, you know what, don't write. That's not for you. Like, I should never have said that. That was fucked up. I just do not, do not take kindly to ultimatums of any fucking kind. I agree with everything I said. Like, I still feel all the ways I felt, you know, about everything I fucking said. Writing is supposed to be solitary. If you got into writing to make friends, you fucked up. Um, there are plenty other avenues in writing where you could make friends. All of these things are true. But I should never be the person to tell someone what they can and cannot do. Mainly because I do not have that power. You know, like, who the fuck am I? So, um, I think an apology video is in order. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do that. Been having a lot of weird occurrences happen to me. And I don't know exactly what to do about them. There are some things going on in my life as well that are very obvious to me what's going on, but everyone else who's involved, they don't understand yet and they can't see it. And if I bring it up to them, they're gonna deny it and then it'll make it linger longer. <sighs> so I'm just waiting now. This whole thing about 
like being able to read people. Um, it never really bothered me before. But now it's kind of annoying. Now it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, ignorance is bliss. It would be nice sometimes to be that fucking ignorant. But anyway, so that's that. I don't know. I got a big week next week, which by the time you watch this, it'll be this week. Like a lot of things are happening with, um, like Etsy, with my Amazon, with Patreon, with the YouTube members, um, a lot of changes I'm putting in place and shit like that. Um, have the new chat books coming out and I'm still hoping to God I fucking get my paper order before that happens. I don't know. I'm feeling really weird. And of course I always think the worst. So something big's coming guys. Don't know what, I don't know what. <sighs> so I don't know if you remember this, but, oh, wait, you probably do remember because it probably happened just before this. I said something big was about to happen. I was a little fucked up because of it. It happened, but I feel a lot better now because it happened and now it's done. It's always the unknown that is freaky. I was gonna go out tonight, it's Friday night. But, uh, after, um, what went down last night and what went down today, I decided against it and, um, I made some chili yesterday. I should have filmed that actually. I'll do it next time. But, um, I made chili and then didn't have any and I just put it away. And um, so I heated that up. And I haven't had beer in like um, three days. And um, didn't drink the last two, like nothing. So I fixed that real fucking quick and um, put down six beers and half a bottle of wine. And now I'm gonna edit the podcast. And I don't know, go from there. Dude, okay, I'm just gonna call you out. Andrew Paul, I don't get it. You keep commenting numbers. I don't know what you mean. Like originally I thought he was calling out F-bombs, like how many F-bombs I do in each video. Because this one dude um, back in the in the, in the golden age of rant videos said that I had dropped the F-bomb 143 times. And so this guy keeps commenting on my videos like three, seven, and that's all he's saying. Well, now he's saying a little bit more and he's actually asking me about the shit that's going on in the videos, but it's like 18, 743, what do you mean when you say, and I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. Russian bots, whatever. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I apparently did a video that I don't know what it is. So let's watch it real quick. What, what does this video say? Hello, everybody in the crew. How are you guys doing today? I'm gonna start putting more content on here for you guys than on the normal channel. Oh, out. this is fucking awesome. I can't wait to put that up. In fact, I may put that up tomorrow. So I think this is episode 30 of the podcast. Don't know how good the intro is. Maybe I should record some more podcasts or something. All right, there we go. Ready? Hello, everybody, and welcome to this next installment of the I Hate Matt Wall Poetry Podcast. I am trying to fix up my Etsy shop. 
for the coming Black Friday, Cyber Monday thing. I changed my prices a bit ago to where depending on the quantity of books I have left, the price varies. And um, so I did that. I really want to refresh some of the listings because I think they look bad. Um, like the pictures don't fit the image square that Etsy gives you. I got to fix that. And one of the things that I noticed, because um, man cannot survive on poetry alone. One of my other major streams of income are my Amazon links. And so if like you watch one of my videos or you go to my website and you click an Amazon link on there, it's an affiliate link and anything, I don't know exactly how long it is. It used to be six days. I don't know if that's still the thing, but if you buy anything on Amazon over that period, I get a commission on that sale or whatever. Well, um, I just found out all my links are broken. So that sucks. And the thing that makes it worse is that my links were broken broken I think in August they were broke might have been September August September and it took me I don't know like three days to go through all my old posts um, be it on my website or YouTube or whatever to fix those links and I did, and they worked for, I don't know, but they're all broken now. So I don't know if you are an Amazon affiliate person, Amazon associates, if you have any like advice or know a good place to get information, because I do whatever the stupid Amazon site tells me to do, and I feel like I still get fucked. So, um, I, I'm just, uh, it's a little frustrating. I don't know another way of putting it. It just, it is what it is. If you saw the live stream um, on Sunday, then you already know this part, but um, it's still fucking with me. I'm just, I'm not feeling good right now, guys. Like, I am feeling way in the fucking dumps right now. I'm so tired of seeing fear. And maybe this is a me lesson. Maybe this needs to go back to me having to be like ultra pacifist because, um, I don't know. Like, here's something that a lot of you probably don't know. Like, I never think of myself as a big dude. Okay. And it usually isn't until, like, I see pictures of myself with people. Or if I'm out with friends and we walk by a store, like a storefront window, and I can see the reflections of us in the window as we walk by. That's usually the first time I realize I'm two to three times the size 
of everyone I know. And I just, I never think about it. I just, I think of myself probably as a just average little person. I don't fucking know. I, I just don't think about it. And, you know, I have a booming voice when I want a booming voice. I have crazy person hair. And I have big giant eyebrows that I could do that with. And when my eyes get big and crazy, I probably look like a fucking lunatic. Oh, and I have tattoos. Um, but everyone has tattoos now, so I don't really think that's very intimidating. When I get mad... I have a certain look and sound and people who I would never expect to be scared or be worried or anything like that get scared. And that fear that they have, and I talked about it in the live stream, so go back and watch the live stream. Um, like, you can see it. And it's fucking horrific to see that in people. It's such a fucking horrible fucking feeling. Like, I could feel it off of them. And some people fucking get off on that. And, like, that is just a fucked fucked feeling dude like honestly like I think what shocked me about this more than anything is that on paper this guy that this happened with last night on paper should be able to wipe the fucking floor with me like in a heartbeat I don't fucking know like you could learn all the self defense shit you want dude but if it's not, I don't know, dude, if it's not in your eyes, you know, that's the end of it. And he was talking such big talk and like, and saying the dumb shit that he said that me clapping back or whatever, like, I don't know. I think I was expecting a fight. Like, I thought he was going to like talk a little more, you know, like, puff up a little bit more, and then it would escalate, but I had no idea that me asking him to repeat what he said and what he meant by it was going to completely, I don't know, like, de-escalate slash escalate the situation, I don't fucking know. I'm just done. I don't like feeling that energy off of people. It's it's a horrible, horrible fucking feeling. And I fucking hate that I can make someone feel that way. I fucking hate it. Oh, it's so fucking awful. I don't know if it's despair or doom. I don't know what the feeling is. But every time I have made someone feel that, I felt it. I felt it in them. And I could, like, see it come out of their fucking eyes, dude. It's fucking... It's fucking awful. Oh, shit. I'm done. New Leaf starts now. Honestly... Like, 100% here. Like, he shouldn't have said what he said. And he's kind of a piece of shit for saying what he said in the first place. But that doesn't make... Me making him feel like that right. Oh, I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Because, like, this is just too much shit. So, time has gone by and I'm feeling a bit better but the thing that's making me feel like a stupid fuck is 
the fact that this, like, this is going up, this video, on Thanksgiving week. And I don't want to get too sentimental here. I really fucking don't. But in all actuality, things are going really well. I had, like, my biggest week on Etsy in maybe ever. I, I haven't really looked at my numbers, but, like, I sold a ton of books this week. I have done more um, mentorship sign-ups than I ever have. I, um, like, new people coming into the Anarchy crew, um, some people telling me that they're going to be joining next month and all this other shit. So, like, things are going really fucking well, you know? It's just, it's hard when you look at certain parts of your life and they are not going as well as other things are but I feel like what we all need to do especially creators especially writers and poets and the whole thing is when like we have those victories no matter how small they are, we need to celebrate them, you know? Like, yes, things are kind of fucking crazy at the minute. Things are, they are, they are definitely really crazy at the minute. Things are fucking looking up, you know? And, like, I don't know about how you guys are doing, but, like, people in the fucking Anarchy crew, you know? Like, they're setting goals and fucking nailing them you know, and just being around that kind of shit where you are around people creatively who are succeeding. It really elevates you. It elevates your spirits. My personal life is a fucking shit show right now, but hey, guess what? That just helps the writing. Am I right? I just, I felt like I, I, I was editing all the stuff for this week's vlog and um, there wasn't a whole lot of me out and about. So again, I have to get better at that because I actually went out more this week than I have in a lot. So the fact that like all I got was some footage of some guys at a skate park um, was pretty fucking shit. <laughs> so um, I, have to, I have to be a little better, a little bit better at that. So anyway, um, I just, I felt like I needed to bring this up a little bit because some great shit happened this week and I watched through this video and I'm like, Jesus Christ, hide the razor blades, am I right? So anyway, um, that's it. So, um, you know the drill guys, type hard and, um, you know, see you next week. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.